Hi, my name is Nancy, and I'm working with Alan Alda on this year's Flame Challenge. This video is about the start and the finish. How do you hook your audience and end with power so that you impact your audience in a meaningful way? This video is all about how to make it snap. You spun the wheel. I did. All right. You found three different ways to make your beginning snappy. All right, what did the wheel tell you? What were your three choices? Playing outside, watching videos online, and cooking. Okay. Give me what you got. Do you like going outside and playing I, around in the mountains? I do. Hiking sure, around? yes. Yeah. yeah, I do too. I actually really like it a lot. And luckily for me, that's what I can do as a geologist. Part of my job is to go outside and explore the world. Excellent. You're, what about your second one? Watching videos. Watching videos, okay. Do you like watching videos, Nancy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you like about them? Yeah, I, I, I'm a comedy junkie, so I'll watch anything that's going to make me laugh. Do you ever enjoy just like watching the people? Yeah. 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 Me too. And actually, as a geologist, I'm an observer. And so I get to actually do that and like observe the world. And just like watching people, I get to see what the world's doing outside. Excellent. Give me your third. Okay. I really like cooking a lot. I like having a recipe and following it, measuring things out. Do you ever go in the kitchen much? Oh, yeah, I enjoy cooking, yeah. yes. So, and then, you know, at the end, you, you, after you do your cooking, you get to enjoy your cupcakes or whatever you made, right? Yes, yeah. that's the best part. <coughs> yeah. Well, and lab works a lot like that, too, where you can follow a recipe, and at the end of the day, while well, you don't get to eat your samples, you still have the enjoyment of having done it right. Yeah, I hope you nice. don't <laughs> eat your samples. Good. That's great. You did a very good job with those three. <laughs> yeah, what was your experience like? Um, well, it was hard, and I'm still not sure that I even got it right because I, I mean, it's really hard to make this not lab focused or not research focused, I guess. But it did sort of make me think, okay, what would someone who's not me, how would they think about this? And so I liked that it yes. pushed me to think beyond what I'm used to. Yes. Well, that's part of what the the game is exercising is starting with your audience and thinking about, okay, how. How might they be interested in what I have to have to tell them or, or to share with them? And can I use what they're already interested in yeah. to connect um, as, as a way of finding some common ground and getting them invested or at the very least interested to hear more? Yeah. There's one wheel devoted to the end of your talk. You may find that this wheel is a little outrageous. It might push you to do something you find silly or awkward but this is all about exercising skills and being creative and evocative, helping you make your ending snap. You spun the wheel again. I did. All right, we gotta find a snappy way to end this, this talk as well. What, what three choices did the wheel give you? I had a uh, motivation, a jingle, and action adventure movie. Ooh, <laughs> excellent. Why don't we do them in that order? Start, give me, give me the motivation. All right. Where will we be in a million years? What will the Earth look like? It's only through studying the past that we have a glimpse of what the future might be. Hmm. Nice. What's your slogan? Do you wonder where the dinos went? They got killed off in an extinction event. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> give, give, me the, uh, give me the epic adventure. How would you end? It was an epic battle between asteroid and dinosaurs, where the dinosaurs ultimately lost and the Earth was never the same. Awesome. <laughs> that feels really awkward. <laughs> Why? Why does it feel awkward? I don't know, because I would never do that in a real presentation. Yeah. I, you know, there's probably very few presentations where you would actually do the, the that kind of a, almost like a performance yeah. at the end of it, All right? But. Do you see how, how you might use some of this? Well, yeah. I mean, I probably wouldn't have ever said, you know, epic adventure. But I could see maybe, maybe that kind of language I could say. I don't have to say it like I'm in a movie trailer. But mm -hmm. the, the wording, I could see how it might apply. Yeah. This game is about exercising skills so that just like when we played um, Jargon Police to discover conversational clear language, Make It Snap is about finding vivid language, descriptive, evocative ways to use language so that your message is memorable and it lasts.
podcasts. Make It Snap is a quick, fun game for you to find new ways to connect your science to your audience. You may feel like Dr. Stephen Jarrett did, that this puts you in an awkward place or even makes you feel like you're being silly. Just remember, the game is about exercising skills. It's about pushing you to find more vivid, evocative language that you might not otherwise have discovered. So visit our website, spin the wheels, and see if you can make your Flame Challenge entry snap.